What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure back with a new video. And I know things out here are starting to change again. Everyone's looking to find other sources of income because they're taking unemployment away from people. Or even those of you that haven't been on unemployment, you're just looking for other sources of income while you're trying to get your business up and running. And let me tell you right now, regardless of what your situation is, even if you have a steady stream of income, passive income is a must. And for those of you that don't know what passive income is, that's basically the money that just keeps flowing without you having to put in as much work to get it. So today I'm going to give you guys some ideas of some passive income that you guys can use to either if it's replacing your unemployment income that you may have recently lost, or if you just want some extra money money coming in uh, while you're growing your business or even just having that passive income anyway because everyone should have it I have them so I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I'm doing to bring in additional income on top of the income that I already earn she's an icon she's a legend and she is the moment now come on now and then along with the passive income, I'll also give you a couple side hustles that you can do too for those of you that don't want these little checks, like you want some bigger money coming in, but for those side hustles, you actually have to put in a little work for it. But I'll give you guys both, and then whatever your situation is, you figure out what's best for you. So for this first option of passive income, for those of you that already have a website built up and put together, whether your business is already up and running or not, or those of you that just want to create a free website so that way you can have that passive income add some ads to your website and don't do too many because you don't want it to become spammy where it basically all ads and it becomes annoying to your viewers but add a few ads here and there on your website because those clicks will bring in money for you that's one way to earn passive income just people clicking on ads and then if they buy from whatever they clicked on then you get paid even more add those ads on there and that'll generate even more income Income from your website the next way to earn a little passive income which I do have a few of them I don't really push it that much but I do have some and it's brand affiliation so you can become a brand affiliate for different brands whether it's a brand of someone you know maybe another small business owner and you're helping them push their product or it could be some of the major brands even like Amazon you, you can become an Amazon affiliate and you make money off of those purchases that people are making and a lot of these brands now they don't require you to have a huge following so you can use this on your social media and just post your links on your social media for people to click and actually buy from you or like with Amazon you can just send the link off to people if you're recommending an item to someone and when they purchase from that link because we all know we do word of mouth someone may ask you where you got something from give them that link and you get paid for that some of my brand affiliate checks that I get literally either it can cover utilities for me it can cover my food for the month gas for for the month it's a good extra source of income it may not be huge where you can live off of it but it's additional income that you didn't have and it's always nice to have it just be careful of some of those brand affiliations that are requiring you to buy product or asking for personal information when you sign up be careful with what information you give because there are a lot of scams out there too just make sure it's a trustworthy brand do your research if you're not sure of the brand ask around people will let you know if they got that same request or not to I get a million scams in my gmail account that's supposed to be brand affiliation but I don't know when you start reading between the lines you'll notice the scams versus the real options but you don't have to wait for brands to just reach out to you you can contact brands as well and then the next option which I know may not be for everyone but it's definitely a good option which is with blogging it can be YouTube it can be podcast any of those areas it's a good way to bring in passive income and not only bringing in the passive income but using YouTube a blog where you can just write out articles and then or podcast as well it's a good way to also market your business so for those of you that have your own business you can also use those 
those platforms to market your business as well and that's free marketing for you you're not paying someone else to do it so that is a passive income that I highly recommend to a lot of you guys that are starting your own businesses because it also will help you out with your business as well and it doesn't have to just be YouTube because I know YouTube's not for everyone I didn't think it was for me when I first started but I did it anyway but even writing blogs if you're good with words you can write out a blog and as long as you can figure out your SEO getting that traffic to your blog will be good passive income you can then add ads on top of that and then you will start getting brands that will contact you so that way you can promote them on your blog and then you also market your brand see how all of it will end up tying together that's why I say that is a good one because it can help you in so many different avenues bring in multiple different sources of passive income and then for a lot of my business owners out there or inspiring entrepreneurs I should say another way to bring in passive income is becoming a silent business partner so for those of you that want to own a business but you really don't want to put in the work for it or you feel like you really don't know what you're doing you're you know trying to figure things out to become a business owner that's another way to do it is by becoming a silent business owner now this requires money to be put into it but then you don't have to really do the work you will find someone that would handle like those day-to-day -day operations that really has the expertise of running a business and you reap the benefits of it in the end basically without having to do too much work on a daily basis because we all know owning a business can be a lot of work I'll just say to you make sure you choose the right partner if you go this route just be careful with who you are investing your money into now for those of you that do want to run the business yourself maybe becoming a silent business partner is the way to go until you actually learn the ropes of being a business owner and the operations of running a business and all that stuff this might be your starting point and then you can branch off and open something else that you would do completely on your own which I am almost ready to launch my mentorship actually in my next video I'll be talking a lot more about it you guys will be hearing everything about it because I'm ready Ready to start taking people under my wing so then that way I can help you start your own business without you having to be a silent business partner or I'll even guide you if you want to be a silent business partner because you got to be careful with that as well but a silent business partner is another way to bring in passive income without having to do too much work and then for this last option that I want to throw out there this is a good one for any of you that don't have this yet but opening a high yield savings account is a must you know what's funny is when I was planning out what I wanted to do for this video and literally in that moment as I'm planning it out my dad sent me this article about passive income and I'm like that's crazy because I'm literally doing this right now and the high yield savings account was in that article he sent originally I wasn't even going to include that in this video because I didn't think of it but I'm like that actually is a good one because one I definitely have set that up for myself and you're literally letting your money make money for you all you have to do is deposit the money into the savings account and you let it make money for you I can't say you're gonna get rich off of it but depending on how much money you put into this account you can definitely make money off of it and depending on how long you leave it in there as well but that's another way just to generate a little more income monthly for yourself is just by putting some money into a high yield savings account so just deposit the money and watch it grow and now for some side hustles those were a few passive income options there's a ton of passive income options that you can find out there people tell you do all the surveys and all that stuff I honestly would say don't waste your time on the surveys you're really not gonna get much out of it but if you have the time to kill and you want to do surveys go right ahead but let's go into the side hustles these are options that you'll have to put a little work into but you can make some decent money off of these side hustles that can actually potentially turn into a full-time business so for the first option is resell I don't know if you guys have seen it out in the market right now but thrifting and reselling is huge right now and there are a lot of people out there actually making a lot of money off of this so basically all you're doing is going to thrift stores it doesn't even have to be used stores though it can be like the discounted stores where you can find something super cheap but then you can sell it at a higher price and make some money off of it now again this is a side hustle so you have to put a little work into this by finding the product researching to see what you can sell it at and then list this product 
like to resell you can use some of the third-party websites like a Poshmark or anything like that to resell it or you can create your own website too. add your ads on there maybe attach a blog to that as well and you can add some passive income along with your side hustle the next side hustle that will be really good especially in 2021 is becoming a virtual assistant do you guys know how many businesses have started up during the pandemic a lot of these business owners are now looking for virtual assistants to help them out because I know a lot of people started their businesses and didn't realize how much work it actually required for them to do and now they need some help or some of the businesses started last year and they've grown in their first year so they need help so this is a good time to become a virtual assistant if that's something you're interested in as a virtual assistant that can be anywhere from just doing data entry it can be like scheduling appointments bookkeeping that type of stuff you'd be surprised what people need help with they may just need your help responding to their emails for them every day and you can get paid for it so if you can offer that service you might as well take them up on the offer right now and make a little extra money did you guys know you can now turn your Instagram into a side hustle too basically you'll just be getting paid to go live so Instagram is now offering something called badges when you go live so basically all your viewers that are watching you when you go live can purchase badges and to me when I'm reading it basically the badges is like sending you a tip so they can send you a dollar or two dollars anything like that but Instagram also has another incentive because this is something new so of course they're trying to push this to get people to use it so for those of you that are going live right now and people are purchasing those badges they have different milestones and when you hit those certain milestones Instagram is actually paying you out money you can get paid up to an additional $500 so now of course that's a side hustle that won't last forever as far as the additional $500 incentive but if you're someone that's always going live on Instagram anyway you might as well get paid for by trying to encourage your viewers to purchase those badges because that part's not going to go away unless Instagram decides that just doesn't work out but in the meantime take advantage of that hustle and get paid for using your Instagram too and then one last side hustle I want to share with you guys that may be useful to some of you because I know you there's a lot of talent out there but logos business cards flyers there are a lot of business owners that actually need this service now I know for those of you that are on social media we see those spam comments all the time like literally on everything asking do you need logos flyers all that stuff like those are annoying so you may think that you know there's not any money in it because there's so many people out there posting those comments but that's not true if you come with a professional approach and reach out to these businesses to see if they need those services or you may see some of them out searching for that service if you just come with a professional approach and not spamming people's comments with one of those long comments and all those emojis on there you can actually make really good money off of there I know a lot of people that actually come to me and ask me do I know someone that can create their logo for them or the huge one is website so if you're good with that that's a good side hustle to do for people even if it's something basic you just be upfront with a customer let them know you can only do something basic but you can make some money off of that too there are a lot of small business owners out there that prefer to pay for those services than to have to do it themselves so if that is a talent a skill that you have go for it and make your money while you can but with all of that said while you're bringing in all these additional incomes don't lose sight of your end goal which is your business that you've been working for or at least planning out fashion formula is almost up and running so I'll be there to work with you guys one-on-one -on -one to truly help you out and get your businesses up and running but I wanted to make sure everyone at least has that money coming in that we can survive off of because all I keep seeing is people out there talking about how unemployed employment is ending and everyone's about to struggle like no not as long as you guys have me you are not about to struggle I'm gonna make sure you guys are straight so bring in some additional income even if it's little checks here and there those 200 300 dollar checks that are small you're getting every month can add up when you have multiples so don't lose sight of what you are really working towards right now I know it can become discouraging when times get tough but there's other ways to bring in some money too so next video I'll be talking talking to you guys more about the mentorship because that'll be launching within the next month so then I'll be able to start helping you guys out because I know I've been talking about this literally for a year now but I put my blood sweat and tears to really try to pull this together to be what I truly wanted it to be so we'll be talking about that next week thank you for watching